today we're unboxing the ultrasonic cleaner cd2820 powerful effective cleaning mini ultrasonic cleaners designed for home uses common applications include jewelry watches eye pair dentures retainers makeup brushes small metal parts etc here are this is the side stainless steel tank uses plain tap water automatic shut off after three five and one and a half minutes i'll also be comparing water water with dawn dish soap and water with a cap full of ultrasonic cleaning solution to compare the different results i'm also going to link a couple of articles down below about the types of things that you should not put in your ultrasonic cleaner because there are certain kinds of stones like opals and pearls that can be damaged there's there's more um, and then certain kinds of costume jewelry perhaps with glues that might uh, have stones coming loose if you use them so this cleaner is quite small as you can see here's my hand which is fine I can't imagine there's the tank inside that I'll be using it for lots of things at once there is the first basket and then this is I believe for watches that you would put in to clean the watch band I filled the tank to the fill line with just straight water and I have a, this is a silver tone cat brooch that had some tarnish on it. And so I just thought, okay, let me try it with the basket. Let's put it on for five minutes and run it and see how it turns out. So I'm going to have a little bit of a clip of what it sounds like. I think I put it on for 15. Yeah, 15 minutes. Let's see what it's showing the different. I'm showing the different like lengths of time you can have it there. Or maybe it's one and a half, three, and five minutes. Okay, yeah. All right, here's what it sounds like. Ready? So after five minutes in the tank with just straight water, I took it out and I had to take pictures to compare. This is before and after. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference, front or back. Uh, the one on the right is the before. So I thought, well, let me try something else. This is another piece that I've got that I wanted to try. Again, just straight water. I thought, let's see if I'm noticing any difference there. And after the five minutes when I take it out, again, I have to take a before and after picture because I won't remember, like, is this any better? I, I, I can't tell. Uh, so here's the before and after. Maybe it's just the color of the metal, but it didn't look any different. So this is a bracelet that clearly has some tarnish on it. I end up trying without the basket because I thought perhaps the basket was in some way hindering the ultrasonic waves, which I seriously doubt, or else they wouldn't even include it, would they? So after the first go round with this one, and I do put this one in a second time because I thought, well, maybe it just needs another another go at it. It looks a bit shinier, but once again, yeah, the back's not so much. I decided, well, let's look at this side by side and see how it, I mean, it's slightly shinier. What do you think? And then the back, same deal. Like it's just not, I'm not seeing much of a difference. So I go ahead and try it again. I mean, I think it's slightly shinier. <laughs> and, and so after the second go around, let's take a look at the before and after. Uh, this time it's the before picture is the from right before and I would I don't I don't see much of a difference honestly as far as the front or the back goes on this one perhaps it just wasn't that dirty to begin with so I decided I'm gonna try cleaning something with fabric because if you watch me you know I just I can't stand fabric jewelry it's disgusting and I thought well this is the perfect way to clean it right so again this is it coming out afterwards and as you can see it's still pretty filthy uh, so I wasn't sold on this but then once again we're still I mean maybe slightly cleaner but I'm not clean enough for me to, to sell it uh, here I have a multi-metal necklace so it's got sterling silver and copper and then this is a silver eyeglasses holder you know with some little fetish fish and whatnot shells. And so, okay, I'm gonna try then, and these I ended up trying with 
straight water and then in a sec I try them with the Dawn dish soap and then also I believe I also try these with the cleaning solution to to see if there's any improvement in that so and I also drop this the silver pendant didn't really look like it needed much but if you take a look here when it's going you can start to see little specks of black at the bottom so on this one I am seeing dirt or something coming off but when I take it out I still don't feel like I see with you know the naked eye much difference and again if you have experience with ultrasonic cleaners and you have more tips please leave them in the comments I got this small one but I also got another one another brand and a larger size uh, that I'm going to also try out I wanted to compare the two to see which one was better why did I bring this back? Am I going to try to clean it again? I think I do. So I'm taking a look again at all the dirty uh, dirty parts on this one. And I put, oh, this is the one I, I'm trying out the Dawn dish soap. Uh, I went to the group, Texas Gals, Jewelry Lovers, and just asked for advice. Because after doing all of those trials with straight water and not getting much of a result, I went to the group and said, what do you guys do? Because I don't, I'm not seeing the the benefits of this yet and so they suggested trying Dawn dish soap I did that and again maybe slightly cleaner some of the black marks may just be from the metal and it's going to be that way and stain the fabric but let's try the silver and copper necklace in the uh, Dawn dish soap solution as well and see if this one comes out any cleaner. Again, I have fast forwarded through the cleaning process. I mean, again, it looks shiny, and then I wanna take a look at the side-by-sides to see, is it really shinier? So, maybe slightly, but not, not that much. Okay, so I thought, okay, let me find something that's really gross. Maybe I just am not finding dirty enough jewelry. So this is a necklace, it's silver tone, and it's it feels really grimy and it's got this like green it's not even verdigris it's just like weird greenness so <laughs> i don't even know so okay let's put that in and see if that cleans up and here it is going through again i have it on speeding this up really really fast because i put it in for five minutes okay so it's slightly cleaner on the front and cleaner on the back i think some of the green is just going to be stained on there finally broke down I ordered this the concentrate ultrasonic cleaner concentrate had to wait for it to come in <laughs> this video is a long time in the making as you might have guessed and so I've dropped it in I think I use a little too much of the ultrasonic cleaner because you see the bubbles so okay I'm gonna put these back in with the ultrasonic cleaner afterwards this is much shinier I think it still has a bit of tarnish on it I mean, I guess I should say this, the ultras this ultrasonic cleaner anyway, isn't like a magic bullet as far as cleaning everything so far. So I've got this really pretty necklace with the coins. It, it felt really grimy to the touch. It was, I believe, in a jewelry box that I got. And so dropping this one in with the solution, let's see how it's going to look when it comes out. This was with the ultrasonic cleaning solution and again you know just from peeking at it I'm like oh it's not really that that much better but then when I do my side to sides I can see oh okay it was way more dull right in, in the previous beforehand so then I pulled out a bunch of sterling silver rings that I have and I wanted to get some comparisons I'm pulling them all up to show like this is what I've got they're pretty tarnished so let's find out if it's worth it for say sterling silver jewelry because sometimes they do have little nooks and crannies that would be hard to get in to clean so here goes and then speeding it up i i enjoyed watching to see the the dirt coming off of stuff so after seeing it happen on the other items i really started looking for it on these so let's take a look at the first pass. I do end up 
putting them through one more time. So this is after five minutes. Uh, the, the dullness is a bit better. The horse, hmm, sl maybe slightly shinier. The moon and stars, I think, looks a bit better, a bit shinier. This one is, is shinier as well. This is a frog. The first picture is not great. It's super cute. That one didn't really get changed much, nor, nor did that. I mean, maybe it's a little less dull. So I decide, let's pop them in again and see if one more go through improves them any. Um, again, like if you use ultrasonic cleaners and you've got some tips that you can drop in the comments, then let us know. All right, second go through, I think it looks way better. Again, same thing with, with the horse. Looks way, way shinier after the second time through. This one as well. So perhaps I have to, look, the frog looks amazing. I think it's so cute. Um, perhaps I think the cleaning solution did better than the Dawn, and way better than just the water by itself. And then also perhaps using, um, putting them through twice seemed to be what was going to have the biggest effect on cleaning. So would I recommend this cleaner, this ultrasonic cleaner, possibly? I have another one that I'm going to compare it to because for all I know, this is the norm. And uh, if you think this is not the norm, then leave a comment. If you have uh, better or other experiences with ultrasonic cleaners. Again, I've got another one I'm going to test out. So uh, keep that in mind. I'll share a separate video for those. And then I may do a, a compilation where I combine the two to compare this versus that and just decide like which one should we keep and which one is going back or given away or something. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will, I look forward to reading the comments and seeing what your thoughts are on the ultrasonic cleaner. And if you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy videos like this and also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures where I shall share lots of different things. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. I look forward to reading your comments and catching up with you on other social media platforms. Bye. Bye.